Hello there and welcome to the Critical Bench YouTube channel. I am Coach Chris Wilson. Thank you for uh, joining me today. I want to share with you some of my experience uh, in working with clients and the DPN or deep peroneal nerve. Um, if you've landed on this video then you might have been searching things like uh, peroneal nerve, uh, peripheral neuropathy, neuropathy, uh, ways to improve balance in the lower body or in the foot. Um, all of these things tie to, to, together, are connected. And in my experience in working with older men and women, it was this one crucial nerve in the body that was a limiting factor or something that was um, a bit of a concern for people, let's say, you know, 55, 60 plus, who were feeling less sure on their feet. They were feeling um, not as stable and sturdy as they once did. They were having issues tripping on things, um, walking from room to room, going up and down stairs, uh, you know, not just l the loss of confidence in mobility. This is, it can be a scary time for people when they get older, even if they've been, whether they were active or not when they were younger, there's things that you take for granted. Um, your ability to move from one room to another, right? Or to, you know, go shopping by yourself, um, to go use the restroom by yourself, things like that, that you don't think twice about in your younger years. As you get up in age, uh, that, that movement and moving well can be a concern. And it really does come down to your ability to sense and feel your feet beneath you. And if the DPN or deep peroneal nerve uh, is, has some type of trauma or is uh, affected in some way negatively, it, it could be um, a whole host of reasons actually that I, that I wrote down. It could be uh, a trauma to the outside part of your knee that because that's where the DPN actually uh, originates is on the lateral part of the leg and then it come, kind of comes to the interior part of the lower leg and then down through the ankle and then ends up actually at your big toe and second toe. Um, and this, this nerve uh, is pretty, pretty darn important to our everyday um, uh, movement. Uh, you could have some type of an infection that's impairing that, uh, that nerve or causing it to uh, lose sensation or lose function because it is a both a sensory, uh, sensory and motor nerve, okay? It's a combo. Um, it, you could have some type of metabolic problem that is uh, creating an issue there with your DPN. Uh, it could be an inherited cause of some way, uh, for, you know, from maybe a, a parent or a grandparent uh, exposure to toxins, maybe it was something that you were exposed to in your career for a long period of time that has an impact on peripheral nerves. Uh, peripheral nerves are really just anything outside of the, the, the spinal area, right? Anything extending down into the limbs. Um, and the most common, common cause actually is diabetes. So if you're diabetic, you might experience some issues with your DPN or deep peroneal nerve. So, this nerve is what we consider to be like your number one balance nerve because what a lot of people will experience is a lack of ability to pull their toe back towards their knee, right? Upward. They lose that upward um, ability. So if you just sit, let's say for instance, with your legs extended out in front of you and one of your foot kind of automatically just kind of drops, drops downward, um, that is a sign that you have foot drop or drop foot and you might have some type of issue with your deep peroneal nerve, okay? What's scary is that when we move, when we walk, we rely on this nerve big in a big way because that's what allows us to pull our toes back up and we don't catch our toes. So we've all been walking before on a sidewalk or you know going upstairs or something where you don't do a good job of pulling your toe back, pulling it up, and what happens? You catch your toe on the step or you catch it or skid it on the ground and what happens? You stumble. 
and sometimes it causes you to actually fall down. When we're younger, we have the ability to kind of react very fast, very quickly, and catch ourselves, and usually throw, the, throw our leg back out in front of us uh, at, fast enough, or put our ar extend our arms out in front of us to catch us or, or grab onto something. As we get older, it can be a much different outcome. If we have foot drop, if our DPN or deep peroneal nerve is not functioning properly, we're not sensing it, we're not feeling it very well, uh, then we could be catching our toe on a regular basis. When we're getting up from the sofa to go to the, ba the bathroom, maybe that's an issue because I'm, I might catch my toe on the carpet. I might catch my toe on the change from the carpeting onto the tile. I might catch my toe on the stair. I might, you know, there's so many different. So there's a lot of things to consider when the DPN is not functioning optimally. And so what I've done, because again, I have a lot of experience over the last couple of decades working with older men and women who have had some type of peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy is just issues with nerve-related issues in the limbs. And there's all different forms of it. But the one that was really the most uh, alarming for me was when people had it in their, in their legs, extending down into their feet and they needed to wear leg braces or they needed uh, to uh, use some type of walking uh, assistive uh, device. And that can really make life uh, frustrating. It can make life scary. It can make it dangerous. It can make you feel like you've lost your freedom and your independence. And I worked face to face with a lot of men and women for several years who I grew very close with. Um, and it was sad for me to see that. And, you know, the peripheral nerves, when they start to, to have issues, it, it's not just a function problem. There's pain related to this. There's numb uh, sensations. There's tingling. There's, there's actual pain, achiness. Um, I, I remember a, a guy that I trained for many years. His name was Paul. And he was a, just became a dear friend of mine. We we're very close. And Paul struggled with peripheral neuropathy, both his legs used uh, very expensive braces that he was constantly having to modify and, and work with. He had sets of uh, different types of leg braces uh, to help prevent him from falling. But we did a lot of different um, balance exercises to try and wake this deep peroneal nerve up, to try and strengthen the muscles uh, around the ankle or in the foot, in the lower leg, and to try and activate, stimulate, wake things up. And that's exactly what I did and the reason for the creation of my neurobalance therapy program. Because of my great interest in helping older men and women move better and prevent falls from ever happening, I used my knowledge and my experience and my passion to create the Neurobalance Therapy Program. The, this program is based on a series of uh, some stimulation exercises and a series of very gentle exercises to help awaken and stimulate the area of the lower leg uh, specifically and to waken up and stimulate this DPN or deep peroneal nerve. The better you get at doing the exercises in the program, the better you will move in life and hopefully save yourself from a fall, from a stumble that could lead to a fall. Um, you know, I, I don't want the fractured hip. I don't want to see you with a head injury. I don't want to see you with a shoulder fracture or an arm uh, break of some kind because what happens when these incidents occur, when these accidents happen, and they do every single day to lots of men and women over the age of 55 or 60, um, life becomes very different very fast and oftentimes um, it's not what we're hoping for for those last few years of our life. Um, I know it happened to my wife's uh, grandmother. Once she fell and broke her shoulder, life was never the same. She couldn't move the same 
And it wasn't but probably about three or four more years before she passed. But I really feel like those last three or four years would have been very different. And maybe she would have actually lived longer had that accident never happened. And so, again, that's the, the reason for the creation of my Neurobalance Therapy Program is to really uh, provide an opportunity for people to very safely, very gently do some very simple things in their own home to waken up the deep peroneal nerve and to feel more sure on their feet, to feel more stable and more sturdy and to move from, from one room to the next with more confidence and to just give you that freedom back, that independence that we all deserve to have. So if you'd like to learn more about the Neurobalance Therapy Program and my story, why I created it, please check out the pinned comment down below this video, read more in the description area, or even click above me in the, uh, the card, or at the end of this video in the end screen. Everywhere you look, you will find more information about the Neurobalance Therapy Program and your DPN, the number one balanced nerve in your body. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, it's helped you in some way, and I encourage you to please go check out the program now because I created it for you. Hey, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our Critical Bench YouTube channel and leave a comment or question below. I'd love to hear from you.